Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the fifth and final part of the Yorkshire Strongest Man competition from Lakeside Village here in Doncaster. Now the athletes are just getting some instruction from the UK's Strongest Man Mr Paul Smith and double Guinness world record holder Mr. Mark Anglesey on how best to tackle the man beast Atlas Stones. Right, let's get straight on with the novice category now, and it's 45, 55, 80, and 110 kilogram man beast Atlas Stones. Starting off with a 45 kilo there, oh nice and smooth. First time these stones have been used in competition as well, a little bit slippery as well, dried off a little bit, which is always good. Do get behind them guys, this is a live event you see on Will Stone and a lot. Always a famous event as well, and it's trained quite a lot in the gyms and the Atlas stones as well. Real test of strength, so going up for being 110 here, I think. Well done there, Lewis, quality stuff. Very slippery, I think that's going to be really, really, really slippery there to grip, but well done. What an easy to put these shows on tour in the country, so we'll see what Fisher can do here. Straight up to the 45 kilo, loaded it nice and strong. On to the next one, this is a quick run so far. Fisher doing really well actually in the novice catching. I've been impressed with some of the events. Nice, big, deep breath there. This has been a sticking point for all of them so far is the 110. It's quite slippery. Don't think we can do about the weather here on that. And we'll see how they go along. I don't think there's any tackle being used on this as well. You might have seen that. Well done, good showing there by Fisher. That was a quick tie though, so remember if he doesn't get that stone on the tie, he'll count in terms of the positions. So this is Jack Turner. Currently on 17 points there. Moving into yours as strong as Go on, Jack, that's your way. That's it, come on. That's it, come on. Come on, quick. He goes if he that's it, come on. Tenor. Oh, one time, come on. Sure go, go, go. Get a little bit of chalk on there. Get, it up. Get it up, Jack. Oh, yes, yeah. Jack. Yeah. Oh, yes, Jack. Yeah. Yes, Jack. Quality. He had to put him on at this event at Yorkshire's strongest man, but he did deliberate on the whether to put the stones in, but it is a famous event. People love to see him, people love to have the pictures taken with him as well. And he's excited. Come on, Eddie! Fantastic stuff there from Aiden Barker. Right, we go straight over to the under 105 kilogram category now, where the Atlas Stones have increased in weight to 55, 80, 110, and 120 kilograms. But it is 
tight and this will decide the under 105s there but there's not much between the podium and some of the big table guys as well which could easily shift up into the podium but we'll see what Stevenson can do and he's super fast out the traps he is not messing about Oh, beautiful, and you know that. Oh, that's the warm tent, so that was the final stone in the novice category. Now we'll move on to the 120, so this is the heaviest stone so far for the under 105s. Oh, well, that was a super quick time though, so they could have earned some valuable points there. Straight to a nice fast start. Doing it nice and high on the ball formers. But those that have just joined us, this is your Studies Man 2023. This is the final event of five. We've been running since 10 o'clock this morning. Deadlifting, vans, log pressing, sack carry there, sack carry, hammer hold. Now to the stones, loaded, water, various weights. as well. So that is making it a bit worse with this event. They're still wet and stoked as well as they're hitting the grass there, so they are difficult in terms of gripping. That's why you're using some chalk powder there. So this is good. It might well come down to time if we're not going to get the 120 kilo stone and we've got the 110. It's going to be the quickest to do those stones as well, so we'll see what could be done here. And he's out of that, I think, because he knows he's getting some chalk there, just get some more grip. A super fast start. Let's see what he can do with this one. Caused a few problems with the athletes as well. Yeah, nice wet slipping in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Has he got this guy? Has he got this guy? Yeah. 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 Give him all 20 if this goes up, it'll be the heaviest so far. Thank you. 
Rocking goes, flies out the track. Goes back it up. Yeah, easy there, straight on to the 80. I'll see more, come on! Come on, Mark! 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 So you'll see this has been a pain for everybody so far. Roll it on your hands, Mark! Come on, Mark! Roll it on your hands! Let's have it up! 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 let now it's still a good, good time there, laid down, doesn't it? So on the timer, we'll be correct to me to earn some valuable points on this stage of 45 kilo, 81 tap. Let's see how quickly he tackles this. And he attacks that dead easy, leaving it in the tank, straight to the 80 kilo. Pretty good time, if he can do the same with the one tank. Easy contention for some good points as well. So right up on the last one, that is a good show. That's looking good. If he gets his one twenty, that's massive points. That's it, get under, that's it. And he's going to come down to time. I think it was the 105 round of applause, everyone. Great show. Great performance. The next two for the crowd today. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. And this is Matt Pearson straight out of the steps. I told you it would be quick, and he knows it. That is the quickest time for the first two stones, no doubt about it. Fumbles the one ten, slightly with Mexi Tampa, that's still an ultra quick time. Can he go to one twenty? He will be the first one in the other one of five to do this, but this is going to be a quick time anyway. I want this one ten stone. Just gave the chart up. He knows if this goes up, he'll take the lead anyway so far. He's certainly quicker than the one ten. So do the same thing, I'm really, really super fast. Come on, Jenny, hold it! That's it! Let's go! Can he do the 120? That was determination, that he knows these are points. And that was still a quick time. He even doesn't get a 120 still, no, that is a quick time on the 110, but he's going for it. It's a tricky one for sure. Pierce has been rolling out so far. To get that on to the platform for the other day, the balance there. That's it, 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 Could steal the win potentially if Tight is one of the leading contenders in the under 105 here. But remember, Pierce had been the only one there with the 120, so he could have really wrapped up some points. Any slippage here by the top three. And Pierce has been with a shout on the podium, but this is looking good so far. Now that is fast. That is fast, but after the defeat gets this one to end up, he's going to be challenging Pearson if he doesn't. Pearson stole the points of this event. Come on! Come on! Right, it's straight over to the open category now. Weatherman Beast Atlas Stones have increased in weight to 80, 110, 120 and 140 kilograms. Let's see how they do. Then we go into middle with 14 and 
Andrew with 13 he has under. points and Jamie Mosby with 10 and Jamie Williamson with 9 points so that is the standings as we see Scott Moore in the lead fighting out with oh, Sam Ashton then moving on to the Atlas Stones which will conclude the final points right for the today's name. winner That's it. Hands right under. straight up from 140 kilo. Well, you can see here going from 100, 110, slippery, on to 120, right up to right 140 kilograms. Now, if you remember in the under 105, the only two men to get 120 kilo up so far has been Adam and Mark Pearson. The only two athletes so far to get 120 kilo up, so we'll see how the Open's doing with it. This being still a struggle, as you can see, wet, slippery, but we're going up to 140. Can anybody get 140 kilo up today? Go on, Dan Caster. Yeah. Hey, let's cheer you up, Master event. So today, still some big, big, big points. I don't see that happening, but then there again, I don't see the 120 kilo up lifted either. Pearson and Adam both proving it up with that one. So we'll see how we go here and that one's going on. Yeah, let's move in. This is the 110. Remember, there's that great thing as well. Yeah. Up onto the legs, into that squat position. It in. Then standing up with that 110 kilo. Well done there, everyone. That was a good effort. Straight up the 120. Remember, only two men to lift this so far. Pearson and Goundrill be the only two athletes so far to get that. Don't the under 105, and even for the Open, this is going to be a challenge as well. Come on, Andrew. Round of applause there. Remember, guys, this is the fifth event. We ground the guys through all these events, including what you find the club press the body side. Let's see what you can do. Always makes us all more accessible as well, but the Greeky Towns is a road show. Go on, get to see this live that might not otherwise go and up. become fans of it. But this is a good show in there. Fairly quick on that go on, one. Straight out of the 110. Just spinning it round. Come on, Mira, Come on, Mira. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Settle down onto the legs. Get in there. Come on. Hold it close to the chest. That's a good lift there. Straight up to the 120. He knows this could be done. Come on, Mira. Down real and Peterson. Have a go at this as well. Come on, Mira. So this will be a good test. Remember, this is 120 kilo. Come on. Move the belt up today. Come on. So now it's the Open's turn to, to tackle this. Come on, Mer! So he's just going to get some more chalk on there. Get it up! Come on, Mer! Get it up! Some of his athletes are going to get it up! Come on, Mer! Get it up! 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 Get it Round of applause there, thank you guys. He's emptying the tank off this one out of all the athletes will be going on tonight. Feeling very, very Italian, I'm sure that's the word. Reaching the regional title battle as well. So stacked up to the plate in this show, which has been really good. So let's see how it goes with that first stone. And that's looking a strong lift on that. If the 110 goes up easy, then the 120 is a near contender. And again, getting it on to those legs, and as soon as he's able to do that, that was looking strong and smooth again. Down to the 120, again, I reiterate this, Pearson. And down drill, proving this can be done today, so it's down to the opens, the pressure on, can they do it? Can a 140 go up? Never say never. No, we've not got past 110 yet. And we're halfway through the field, and some tiger bodies out there as well. 
the team set the oh, that's it, that's it. Is to the pressure on Scott Moore, so we'll see if he can. Yes, that's Scott it. Moore's got a real chance if he gets that one for our team. Oh, I think he's done that out of the four. Oh, that's nice time, Battle. Oh, now oh, oh, for the final yes, time, you'll yes, see this stone yes, run. And the clan yes, leader, yes, but that could all change is Scott Moore. Oh. Let's see what more can do here. Can he do this? It's tight between him and Smash, and that goes up quick. Talk to that thing's not about to there, but anyway, he's done his good job. This is a good job to show him you want to win. He knows he's got to be quick on this as well. He gets that first stone up quick. This could steal points for him, but again, that one takes a little bit awkward. He knows that. There's a Scott Moore coming in the lead one. Yes, he could take his time at this, he could chop this up and then he could get a lot more to get on the side of the range. Scott Moore, Scott Moore, he's got to get super fast on the first two. Awkward oh, these cells, he's got to get up and 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 up just got to get charts up again. Again, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. he's got it. Can he get the one to help? Oh, 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 so he's going to go take one more to the corner because if he gets that quick right, he's certainly got the strength to get it. Holland is the only one to set a blueprint on this so far. I know he's going to go for it. Absolutely fantastic 
bit of support of the crowd and the side of such a miserable day on which we know okay this afternoon so thank you all for your support don't go yet Absolutely fantastic. What a competition this has been. Absolutely brilliant. Right, we shall cross straight over now to the results, and it's the under 105 kilogram results. Mark Stevenson. In eighth place with 17 points, we have Sean Sheridan. One point ahead on 18 points in seventh place, we have Carl Briggs. And then in sixth place, 20 points, Josh Harrison. Fifth place, 24 points, we have Mark Thompson. And then top four, we have fourth place, 28 points, brilliant performance, Greg Stewart. And the top three all change on the stones, so we have 31 points, third place, Mark Pearson. And then it's been really consistent all day long, 35 points, second place, Yorkshire's 105, Stephen Dutton. And then, with a brilliant finish on the stones, first place, 38 points, Yorkshire's strongest man, under 105 kilos, Adam Dennis. We have 12 points, Jamie Mosley. <laughs> 17 points in sixth place, Miroslav Poldek. I'll be back stronger. <laughs> Top five now, also on 17 points. It's went down to Cat back. They're sneaking in the top five. 17 points, Andrew Reid. <laughs> Fourth place now. Really impressive performance all day long. 28 points, Shane Hurley. Top three now, separated by one point. So it's a close one, we've had to go to the count back, we've had to get our calculators out, the abacus out, we've all had a little go at adding it up. And we have third place on 31 points, Sam Ashton. Second place now, also on 31 points, taking it by count back. Second place, Yorkshire's strongest man, Tom Holland. And then in first place, 
with a nail biting finish on the stones. But he pulled that out of the bag. 32 points. Scott Moore, your Trafalgar's man. People, please, you're too strong as man. Scott Moore. <laughs> well, so there you have it. That was Yorkshire Strongest Man competition. And wasn't it absolutely fantastic? It really was. Now, I must thank the Man Beast team for inviting me down here to film their competition. Absolutely enjoyed every single minute of it, apart from the rain, of course, and it's rained all day, and that has made things really, really difficult for the athletes. Now, I must actually say my apologies to the novice category, because unfortunately, I missed their results. My, uh, my camera ran out of battery power, although I normally carry plenty of batteries with me. Being here all day filming, I ran out of battery power right at the minute they were giving out the results. I had to quickly nip back to my car to get a spare battery. So anyway, that is it for this, well, the selection of videos. I'm guessing there's five videos that I've recorded here today. I'm not sure until I actually get home to sort it all out and edit them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed all these videos about the Yorkshire Strongest Man competition. Like I said, I've certainly enjoyed being here. So thank you all so very, very much for watching. And please, everybody out there in YouTube land, stay safe. And I will see you all again soon in the next video. Take care now.